How would you feel if some of your precious super savings were taken away from you? Well, in the first half of 2020, 1.26 million was lost from more than 7,100 government impersonation scams, reported to Scamwatch. With the scammers claiming to be from MyGov or from agencies trying to help people access their superannuation early during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, with more and more Aussies falling into the traps of scammers, having their personal information and hard-earned super stolen, do you know what to look out for when it comes to protecting your super? Can you spot a sneaky super scam? Let's be honest, it's not always easy to spot one these days. Unfortunately, scammers have become more and more sophisticated and can look and sound quite convincing. There are only three ways you can get access to your super early. One is compassionate grounds. Two is if you're in financial hardship. Or three, the latest, for COVID-19 early access. Now, if you have sized up the situation and decided to withdraw your money out of your super under one of these measures, then the first step to making sure you don't fall prey to a super scam is to be aware of the types of scams taking place right now. Now, this is particularly important in 2020 due to the volume of people accessing their super for COVID-19 support. Know that unlike compassionate or usually hardship grounds, to apply for COVID-19 early access to your super, you have to go directly to the tax office through the MyGov portal. You can't apply to your fund directly. The ATO is the place to go. How to spot a super scam. There are three types of super scams to be wary of. First up, the health or scammers. They offer unnecessary service and charge fees. Now, this can be from a phone call or a robocall pretending to be from a government department like the ATO, Department of Home Affairs, or even a made up agency like the National Review Team to sound legit. Now, their ultimate goal is getting your personal identifying information. Now, here are some of the excuses these devious scammers might use. We're offering help to access the money in your super early under the government's new arrangement. We want to ensure you're not locked out of your super accounts under the new rules or measures. We would like to check whether your super account is eligible for various benefits or deals. To do this, we first would like to verify your details on our file. Have you worked full time for the last five years? Now, along with your employment history, scammers may also ask for your age and working rights. Be careful. Now, the next type of scammer is the fast cyber crooks. They make unauthorized transactions to release your super early. Now, some victims have received unexpected notifications that their super accounts have been unlinked from the MyGov accounts or an unauthorized application has been submitted to withdraw from their super fund. Now, quite often, personal information has already been compromised. Hackers are quick to alter the personal information on the MyGov account and redirect alerts and notification so you're not aware of their further actions. The third type of scammer will be looking to coerce you into quick decisions when it comes to accessing your super early, or even across a range of other financial decisions that could have significant impact on you. So even if you have no intention of withdrawing your super early, you should keep your eye out for the thugs. Now they're known for fake government threats and phishing scams. Now these scammers threaten victims with bogus claims like, to gain early access to your super, you must apply within seven days. Or inactive super accounts will be locked if not merged immediately. Now remember, this is not true. On a serious note, they might also accuse victims that they've committed tax fraud, money laundering or unpaid tax. In turn, blackmailing them to hand over their money. Next question is, how can I protect myself from super scammers? It's so important to stay vigilant when it comes to your super. After all, these are your long-term savings that we're talking about. Now, here are some red flags to look out for and ways you could help protect your identity and keep your nest egg safe from scammers. Always remember, your super fund or ATO will never cold call you and ask you for information. Never supply your personal information or anything about your super over the phone, even if they sound legitimate. 
Don't feel pressured at any demands. Government departments will never threaten with immediate arrest or payment. Instead, calmly ask for their contact details, hang up, conduct an independent search about them. And if you're unsure, call the ATO directly on 1800 008 540 to verify if a contact you receive is genuine. And always be wary of online emails or text requests prompting login or status checks. Never ever click and provide your login details, even if they say in real. And remember the government does not share hyperlinks to a login page. Now, if you choose to access your super early, don't involve a third party. Instead, go directly onto the ATO and MyGov websites by entering the full address into the browser yourself. Never share your MyGov login details with anyone under any circumstances, including your tax agent and have a strong password. Ensure your letterbox has a padlock and is secure to prevent identity theft. And read your superannuation statement regularly. Spot any unusual unauthorized transactions. Remember, small sums stolen can have a huge impact on your future nest egg. Now, even if you don't plan on accessing your super, be sure to check your super statement every now and then. It's better to be safe than sorry. And of course, report any suspicious activity to your super fund, the ACCC and the ATO. Now, unfortunately, identity theft, scams and cyber fraud are becoming more and more sophisticated and a more common occurrence in our lives. The best we can do is learn how to protect our nest egg and stay vigilant. We have more tips for avoiding super scams on our website. You can check them out and the link is in the description of this video.